Okay, everybody, uh, I'm here with Austin Stevens in Birmingham and family and such. And I found how to change these gears really fast in the Rush 750. So you just pull out these four bolts right here, the servo. Pick it over here, and you can lay it over to the side, which later on I'm going to make this a little longer so it's not so much tension on it. You'll take off your carbon fiber plate. I've already pre-removed them, so we didn't watch the pain. Uh, and then you got this plate right here. We're going to pop that out real quick. Just spread them where you took these three bolts out on each side right here. Just going to spread a little bit. So, trying to be smooth. Alright, she's out. We're going to get this um, counter gear. Pop it on out. Austin Stevens is going to find a little quick tip that he found here to... Uh, Get out the other little umbrella gear. The quick tip is if you use a flathead screwdriver like this, like the one you use to put in the bolt, as long as it's not too big, bigger than this hole, you can just slide it right through like that, get it lodged in there, and push. All right, and she's out. That's good. Well, then you lose it down there, but hello. <laughs> get it back. It's all right. And there you go. All right, I'm going to put it back in. Um, Toby's going to have to step back here he's going to see both of my hands what we're going to do is just set that gear in there just right inside that bearing up front you take your hand put some pressure gear on that right there and what you're going to do is find your uh the splines to that front gear so you're not trying to find them so you just push as far as you can go and then start turning your tail you can hurt it snap in really fast and simple right there and then uh grab your other counter gear here put it right back in line up the shaft that's back in installed Right here, guys, just take that bearing hoe and try to, like, keep it sliding straight down and put it right back over top of that gear. And don't worry about lining those bolt holes up. You get them snap in until after you grab that shaft. So, yeah, as you can see, you're getting right here a snap. And it all just snapped itself right back together. You're going to put your plate on like so. Flip it back over here. Put your, that's it. Put your pull bolts in. Snap your two links back on. We're done. Thanks, Toby.